and welcome to day seven of your yoga practice. Thank you for coming and joining me today. Today we're going to focus um, first on our breath and we're going to learn a new type of a breath technique. Um, these breath techniques in yoga are called pranayama. Pranayama is, the, is what we call breath work. Um, so we're going to learn something called ujjayi breath, which is really a breath that you can hear more um, than any other breath that we really do in yoga. Um, so what I want you to do is just first, just kind of close your eyes and focus in on your breath for a moment. Let's take a deep breath in, deep breath out. Now this time as you breathe in, breathe in deeply. Then as you breathe out, breathe out through your mouth and try to make a ha sound. So you're breathing in and then we're breathing out. Breathing in. Kind of as you're breathing out, kind of like as if there was a, a little mirror right in front of you and you're trying to smoke up that mirror and, and uh, with the fog. Concentrate on this a few more times. Breathing in. The more force you can have that ha on the way out, the louder you can be. The more you're kind of getting out all of those things in your inside that you're holding on to and kind of get rid of some of that anger, get rid of some of that stress rid of some of that pressure inside you. So that's what the Ujjayi breath can help you with. This time I'd like you to try to do the Ujjayi breath, but close your mouth as you breathe out and breathe out through your nose, but still have that same sound, that same ha sound in the back of your throat. So as you breathe in, Breathing out with that same sound by keeping your mouth closed. Do that a couple more times at your own pace. And just today during our practice, I want you to think about what I have on my shirt today, being thankful. I have a little quote that says, Grateful is the gratefulness is the best medicine heals your mind, your body, and your spirit. And it attracts more things to be grateful for. Just keep that in mind as we're working our body today, being grateful for our body, being grateful for our health, being grateful for this time that you have to practice yoga today. So we're going to start in child's pose. Hope you enjoyed the Ujjayi breath today. So start in child's pose with our knees either kind of right together or you can have a wide-legged child's pose, whatever feels better to you. As we come forward, and if you can put your, um, put your forehead on the ground in child's pose. Take a nice deep breath in and out here enjoying that nice stretch in the lower back. Then I invite you to take your hands and kind of spider crawl them over towards the right. Taking your back down and you should feel a nice side stretch here as we're stretching out the left side as we're coming over to the right. You should feel a little warm up through the legs and through the back of the through the middle of your back as well, but especially on the side here. And let's come back to center. Stretch back out even. And then spider crawl those hands over towards the left. Again, just trying to come as close to the ground as you can. Trying to enjoy this feeling of opening our back and our body. And back to the middle. And one more time, bring our hands over to the right. And 
And then again, bring those hands over to the left. sit back on our bottom we're gonna take our legs wide so um, for some people um, just wherever this V feels comfortable in your body so we're stretching out our legs making sure that our back is straight our posture is good our shoulders are down our head is high again as if we're pulling up our spine making it just a little bit longer and take your left arm kind of straight up in the air and then bring it over towards that right foot. So we're really keeping both of our shoulders kind of stacked on top of one another as we feel that nice side stretch here. Again, use your breath to help you come down further into each pose. And take your right arm straight above and bring that left hand over towards that left ankle or that left foot if you'd like. Just feel a nice stretch in the lower back. And especially we're stretching out all of those nice ab muscles that we did on the side, that we worked on the side yesterday. You never want to push too hard into the first time when you're doing a pose too. Usually the second time, that's why we always try to do each pose twice. So the second time you come into a little bit deeper stretch. So let's bring that um, left arm straight up. I'm over towards the right. Come closer to that right foot. And then if you want, you can swivel your hips and then bring the, both of those hands closer and that head closer to your knee. This time our shoulders are both looking straight downward. Inhale, come back up, bring that left hand over towards your left ankle, and first stretch, stretching to the side with both shoulders even with one another, and then rotating those hips and then coming straight over with our head towards our knee. Just remember that one side may be much more, I'm way less flexible on my left side than I am my right. This all has to do with my hamstrings and how they work. So, so just be compassionate with your body and what you can do. All right, now we're gonna bring our feet in towards each other, facing each other as if it's a little book that we can open or close. Put our hands, um, I usually like to keep my hands on my toes here. Again focusing on your posture being straight up and those knees coming a little bit closer towards the ground. And you only want to do what is comfortable for you. Um, keep your legs out to a space where you feel comfortable, that you feel a nice stretch but you don't feel don't you don't feel pain in those inner groin muscles. Take your right ear over towards your right shoulder. And then take your left ear over towards your left shoulder. Let's do that one more time. Right ear towards right shoulder. And then left ear towards your left shoulder. Okay, great. And we're going to just fold up those legs in any way that feels comfortable for you. In Sukhasana, easy pose. Now, for a lot of people, I like to use props, and that's why I've started to really add props into the game here on day seven. Um, props, anybody who's done yoga for a long time knows that props are a really a good thing. They're not because you're not flexible enough or good enough. No, they are to help you get into the poses, because none of us can really get in from the very beginning to a lot of these poses, unless you're super flexible or maybe in your 20s. But um, anyway, um, so, um, you can use any kind of a thing for this. You can use a strap. I just grabbed a towel today. So we're gonna bring this towel and bring it into your right hand. Just have it long behind you. And then bring this elbow, this right elbow up and your hand in back of your head. So, um, and the rest of the towel is just hanging down your spine. And feel a nice stretch in this whole shoulder here, this whole armpit. 
and then this left hand is going to come out to the side and then it's going to bend backwards and it's going to bend upwards so this this part of your hand shoulders out. We're going to do that one more time on each side. If you feel like you need the prop, then use that again. If you feel like you want to try to grasp your hands together, that's a great thing too. So, or you can just, your hands don't always have to be touching in the back wherever they're meeting. So, right elbow straight up towards stretching out the backs of your legs. For me, I like to do it kind of one at a time when you come into your first downward dog. Those ears should be between your shoulders, between your arms. And if you'd like, also bend those knees. It helps you come into a little bit more of a stretch to the back, to the middle of the back, instead of so much into the hamstring. Move those feet around a little bit. We're going to bring our right foot forward and our left foot forward. Come into halfway lift. Come down, breathe out as you come into forward fold. And breathe up. All oh, that good energy. Hopefully you're enjoying the nice energy of being outside during this time. Um, that's why I decided to do our little practice outside today. So we, uh, we're going to come into warrior one first. So your right foot is going to be kind of in the middle of the mat and your toes are going to be facing forward. Your back foot is going to be um, a little bit further than hip distance apart. Feel free to come as far back as you want, but this is a little more manageable. Um, so those feet are gonna, that those toes are gonna be angled towards the front corner of your mat. Um, so in Warrior One, all our hips are gonna be facing forward. So hips this way, arms straight up as we come down into this pose. So 
we're gonna bend this front thigh so that it's parallel, although mine is not quite parallel, um, with the ground. And um, we, we try to keep that back foot on the ground if we can. Keep those shoulders down in their pockets. Chest is elongated. You should feel a nice stretch through the whole front body. And you should feel that back firing up. Um, those back muscles are all um, being used in this, in this, um, in Warrior One, as well as our leg muscles. It's almost every every muscle in our leg is being used at this point. Okay, so that is Warrior One. Um, we've done that a few times. It's also similar to crescent po crescent lunge, which is where we come up from the ground sometimes in crescent lunge. So now Warrior Two is is similar but different. So our, our front foot is exactly the same, kind of in the middle of the mat pointed forward. But this back foot, we're gonna flatten out. So the back foot is gonna be even with the back of the mat. So, um, and you want the, the arch of your foot to be kind of in line with the heel of your front foot. Now this one, your hips are facing, um, facing forward. So they're not facing the front of the room, they're facing the side of the room. Arms are gonna be straight out and that front leg is gonna come parallel again with the ground. And we wanna to try to come down. You wanna make sure that knee is not going out farther though than the front of your toes. And you also wanna make sure that that front knee is angling over towards the baby's toe side so that we're opening up this hip here. So come down into your warrior one, take a couple of nice, or warrior two, sorry. Take, take a couple of nice deep breaths here. Um, usually in Warrior 1, we're looking forward, we're looking towards the future, or Warrior 2, we're looking towards all the good things that are coming in our life. All right, now comes the fun time. We're going to learn Warrior 3, which is, is a balance pose. Um, so in Warrior 3, our front foot is going to be flat on the ground. We want to kind of put the weight into our front foot. Our back foot, we're going to let that front uh, that right foot get the weight. We're gonna bring, start bringing this back foot upwards as we bring our arms out. And we're gonna come over and start bending over. Well, this may be a no-go. This may be an absolutely hard to go. This is a hard balance pose. So maybe you're right here. Maybe you're just a little bit with the foot off the ground. Or maybe you come all the way over. Ooh, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do it right now. Um, variation of the pose you come into whatever level of the pose you feel comfortable with so let's just take a breath or two here and just remember with any poses that are balanced poses kind of when you're wobbly and when you know moving around it's good you're getting more strength in those ankles and those legs to help you be able to do these poses better in the future okay let's do all three on the other side so we're gonna have our left foot forward. We're gonna come into warrior one first. So remember that back toe is angled towards the uh, front part of the mat, the front corner of the mat. Um, we uh, bring, our, bring our hips towards uh, the side, towards that front right foot, that front left foot. And our arms are straight up. into the weight on our left foot. That right foot is going to kind of just be um, barely touching the ground. And if we want to bring it off the ground, those uh, arms are going to be um, up above our head, kind of leaning towards the front. And then as we come over, we're bringing those hands closer to the ground and the back foot closer to parallel. Wherever you are in this pose, just enjoy trying to come into a nice balance. Okay, 
there we are. One, two, and three. Warrior one, two, and three. We're gonna do those in a little bit of a flow. Um, just as I showed you the sun salutation series, we did that a little bit the other day as well. We're gonna do um, each of those three poses in a sun salutation series on both sides. So breathe in all the good air. Breathe out if you come over into Utasana forward fold. Breathe in as you come into halfway lift. Put those hands directly on the ground and come back into plank pose. Those hands should be directly underneath our shoulders. Feel free to pop those knees down if you'd like. And we're going to come down into Chaturanga. Up into Up Dog or, um, or Cobra, wherever your back feels comfortable. Bring those feet back into Downward Dog. our right foot forward, keep our left foot, now make sure that our, our left foot is pointed towards the front as we come up into warrior one. And the farther apart that our feet are in warrior one, the easier that it is. So if your feet are further towards the end of your mat, it makes it a little bit easier. Now pop that back foot even with the back, the mat in the back as we come into warrior two. Take a deep breath here, and then bring that back foot forward, both hips forward, as we come into Warrior Three. All right, bring your hands back to prayer pose. We're going to try that again on the other side. Breathe in, and then breathe out. Come over into forward. Breathe up as you come into halfway lift. Breathe out as you bring your hands down and feet down into Chaturanga. Come up into either Cobra right here or Up Dog. Bring those feet back into Downward Dog. This time we're going to bring our left foot up and forward. And that, make sure that right foot is angled towards the front. And again, think about being wide if you want to make it easier to come up. Come up into warrior one. As we put our fingers together in warrior one. Open. Bring that back foot even with the back. As you come into warrior two. Again, making sure this, um, this knee is angling towards the baby toe side. And then bring those hips back forward, bring that back foot, that back right foot a little bit closer towards the left. Bring our arms straight in front, hands out as we come over into warrior three. So you guys have that down. Let's do that one more time. We're gonna do it one breath, one movement. So we might do it a little bit quicker this time. So breathe in. All the good air, breathe out as you come over into forward fold. Breathe in as you come into halfway lift. And straight down, back into chaturanga. Come up into up dog or cobra. Back into downward dog. Bring that right foot up, up towards your hands. Make sure that back foot is angled towards the front. As we breathe in, we come into warrior one. Pop that back foot even with the mat as we come into warrior two and bend that front knee. Bring those hips forward even. Uh, and come into warrior three. You can also do some variations with your hands in warrior three. Whatever feels comfortable to you. Prayer on this side. Breathe in. Breathe out as you come into forward fold. Breathe in as you come into halfway lift. Bring those hands forward. Come back down into Chaturanga. Plank to Chaturanga. The up dog. Bring those feet back into downward dog. So I'm going to take our left foot up and bring it 
in between our right hands. Make sure that back foot is angled as we come up into warrior one. Pop that foot back to even as we come into warrior two. Bring both hips forward as we come into our variation of warrior three. Even if that back foot is just an inch off the ground, you are making progress into this pose. So whatever feels good for you. Bring those hands together into prayer pose. Woo! We are strong warriors. Okay, let me see what we're doing next. Um, okay, we're gonna bring ourselves back down to the ground. We're all done with standing poses. So let's stretch out our body now that we're all warmed up a little bit. We have a couple more poses here. We're gonna start with half lower to the fishes, which we did the other day. So we're gonna start with that right knee straight in front of us, um, bent and you know as wide as you'd like it to make it feel comfortable for you that right foot is going to come either right by the knee in the front or if you want to pop it over to the other side you're also welcome to do that whatever feels more comfortable for you and then we're going to so remember either knee good here or here either way is fine and then your right hand is going to come and wrap around this left knee remember both of our hips are going to be on the ground as we twist around to the left and our gaze should be the last thing to kind of turn around so we're really twisting all the way from the lower part of the back all the way up through the upper back and shoulder all right we're gonna bring those legs straight forward kind of shake them out a little bit this time our left knee is going to come straight forward thankful for all this great flexibility that we have in our body wherever we're at bring that right foot right even with our knee or feel free to pop it over on the other side make sure both of those sit bones are flat on the ground or at least close to wherever they wherever you're getting close to flat that right hand will come flat out wrap it around that knee and then as we turn our spine towards the back so get our our head will be the last thing to turn. Feeling a nice stretch in our thighs, in our back, a nice twist to the spine. All right, knees back together. Let's uh, do this one more time on each side. So we're going to bring the right knee forward and put that left he uh, foot by the right um, knee right hand and wrap it around that knee. Switch sides here, the left knee straight up front, that right foot um, right by the knee or to the other side, either one is great. That left hand will come out and we'll wrap around this right knee as we twist all the way to the back. Take a couple of nice deep breaths here. Okay, and we have one more pose for you. I thought we'd try to open up our back a little bit more. So we're gonna lay flat on the ground. We'll come back into either supported shoulder stand or bridge. Um, if you have any blocks, this is a great time to use blocks too. I'm going to show you, we did this post the other day, but I didn't use it with blocks. So I'm going to show you how you can do it with blocks also. Um, so you want both um, shoulders to be on the ground. And if you can kind of um, inch up those shoulders a little bit closer towards one another so that um, the lower part of our back um, is arched and our feet will come in a little bit closer towards our bum. And then we want to lift those hips up. And for some people, putting a block right here, this can be enough of, of a um, back bend for you in shoulder stand. This is a good feeling. We have three different levels to our block. So maybe you're right here and this feels great. Or maybe you want to come all the way up like this and that's great. Or maybe you don't want to use a block at all. But these are just great options for you on how to use props to help you come into the pose a little bit better. So you're also welcome to just grab, if you don't have any props, to 
Grab both hands underneath and bring those hips straight up. Remember, we're stretching our, the front of our chest out, but also trying to bring those shoulders just a little bit closer together. Take just one more deep breath in and out here. And then let's come back down and straighten out those legs for just a minute. And shake out those arms. And give yourself a nice hug here. And let's do that one more time. Again, I'll show you some options with the with the block again. Um, or feel free to come into the, the full pose with your hands underneath. But bring those shoulders just a little bit closer together, our feet a little bit closer towards our bottom, lifting our hips up gently. If you'd like to put a block right underneath, feel free to put a block right underneath to help support you. Sometimes when we're supported like this, we can come into the breath a little bit more and actually feel what we're feeling in our body, feel what parts of our body are okay with being open and what parts we still need to breathe into a little bit. Or if you have your hands, just clasp your hands underneath, bring them closer together and trying to just continue to bring your shoulders closer together and your hips a little bit further towards the ceiling. Take one more deep breath in and out here. into the earth below you, feeling supported by the ground, getting yourself just in as comfortable of a position as you can on the ground. And concentrate on your breath. on your breath to just kind of share a few things with you about being thankful. Be thankful for the struggles that you go through. They make you stronger, wiser, and humble. Don't let them break you. Let them make you. Especially when we're doing strong poses like we did today in Warrior. Um, I hope that you're thankful for what your body can do. I think a lot of times we're always in this wishful state for what we wish our body was. We wish we were thinner. We wish we could do this. We wish we didn't have this ailment. But what about being thankful for what your body is capable of? What about being thankful for the things that we can do? For the positions that we can manage? Each day as you enter your yoga practice, if you're thankful for what you can do, you will continue to open up your body and your mind to being more flexible, just having better health in general. That's what yoga is really all about. Join me 
Lazy Pose, Sukhasana. Namaste.